story nonstop for the last 24 hours. Good morning, Aaron Katursky. Well, good morning, McGraw. So Paul Manafort and uh, George Papadopoulos, as well as this Gates character, all uh, indicted yesterday. Paul Manafort, uh, the, the money laundering is an interesting and twisted and sordid tale. It is, it is that. Uh, it is um, the, the story of a 10-year relationship Paul Manafort had with Russian government and business officials that um, he formed through work he did for a pro-Russia political party in Ukraine. During the course of that 10-year um, relationship, uh, he went to great lengths to try to hide it, according to the special counsel, uh, uh, by, by hiding the multiple millions of dollars that he made from the work and by failing to register as a foreign agent. Now, he was, it, it, uh, the timeline is important on this. Was he, according to the indictment, was he still uh, sort of funneling money to these different deals while he was working on the Trump campaign? No, the, the, the bulk of the, the allegations involve things that happened before uh, he became the campaign manager for, for Donald Trump. And, and <clears throat> that's why the president is right when he says this is, you know, sort of predates him. And, and the indictment does not mention Trump or the campaign. But it does <clears throat> outline this relationship and, and, and the, the extent to which Manafort was willing to, to try and hide it. And, and that can't be a comfortable place for, you know, the, the, the Trump orbit to be. It's pretty confusing, but he would go and buy suits and other things, homes, and then run the payments through a bank in Cyprus? Yeah, he, had, he had accounts in Cyprus, uh, the Grenadines, the Seychelles, you know, all over the world that uh, was you know, where he was stashing money. And he was using it, the court record said, to fund this lavish lifestyle in the United States without paying taxes. So he had homes uh, here in New York. He, he had, you know, the, the, the townhouse in Brooklyn, the, the place out in, in the Hamptons. He had uh, a place in Alexandria, Virginia, that was famously raided by the FBI over the summer. You know, there was an $800,000 moat that he had installed around his property in, in, in the Hamptons. He, he, you know, paid handsomely for his suits. Um, and and there, the, the, the clothing expenses were, were fairly insane. And, you know, all, all, all of that money is, is accounted for. Prosecutors found all of it. Um, but they, they also said that it was improperly concealed from tax authorities here in the United States. Yeah. Uh, the, uh, you hear stories, 12 million, 18 million. But overall, they're saying he made $75 million from his work with overseas governments. Not a bad haul uh, in, you know, in about 10 years' time, the span of the indictment, and it, it was not properly accounted for, and that's why he's been charged with conspiracy against the United States, money laundering, and, and, and tax fraud type charges that, you know, taken together could get him a bunch of years in, in prison. It's up to Manafort now to decide whether he wants to take his chances at trial or whether he may have something to offer the special counsel. It's clear he's not cooperating enough uh, as of now, and that's why he was charged, and, and maybe this is one way that Robert Mueller can convince him to get on board. Does he, is, he, is, is he under house arrest? Effectively, yes. A $10 million bond. Uh, there were a number of conditions. The nature of the charges suggest he has overseas contacts, so there was a, a, a flight risk worry there by, by prosecutors. And so he's on a $10 million bond. Uh, and is due back in court on Thursday to try and maybe adjust those terms. Uh, is he wearing an ankle bracelet, do we know? I'm not sure that he is. Uh, and and we'll see what happens on Thursday, but I'm not sure that he actually has to wear one just yet. Yeah. Uh, interesting world. Aaron Kaczorski, ABC News correspondent in New York. Thanks, Aaron.